Jones. Be the quicker man. Yeah. Big right hand to open things. Told her she was going to frustrate him. Uh, stay inside. Put pressure on Look him. Look at this. That's a body attack that he will just break. And you see him there with a little pot shot. That is his signature move. In a way, physically and backing up. Starts to get a little rhythm going in the final seconds. Be part of this fight, that's for sure. Wow. He's walking his way in. The jail. 29 years. And by the way, no relation to now away in a way. Actually, he's just the bantamweight champion who's a, a pound for pound fighter. But this effect of flashing out a jab and then yeah, you're gonna see a lot of a lot of that, a lot of head clash, and hopefully we called in some overall foundation laid already. And Mungia comes in like again 170 into the ring. Tremendous career in the last two years. Five is disastrous. It can't be. Feel the effects of losing that weird box or whatever. And I don't go in the corner aggressive as. In a way, or hit a fighter's elbow. He's not giving up. He's a strong guy. Big left hand to deliver, and in a way. And normally, Mungia is extreme. Either the body or the head. You see, sinking down. He will eat some shots uh, for that. Just to look, work on the defense. Work on the. Now he's breaking his man. Locking right there. That was old school. Blocking, yeah, you. That, that, that's something I, I remember. Tony DeMarco Hall of Fame. Trying to land a right uppercut, which Mungia. Block. Hard. Very right. slick, very short. Far away. He's tough for cut. He needs to have variety. In a way, landed upstairs. Mungia landed. Quarter man. Clinched by Mungia. He actually should probably do that more. Sinks down. Landing the harder, stronger, more heavier shots. Yet it's Takashi in a way. Backing up. We want Mungia to use that jab. Oh, balance. One thing I'm noticing, guys, is Mungia's breathing oh. with his mouth open, which is very dangerous. Again, think about it. He's 31 and 0, and there's the left hook with the right hand lands on the side of the head and doesn't seem smart. Come on, when you get in there, it's going to be a different story. His mouth, he's breathing with it. He just loves. Mungia. I don't want to see Mungia doing that. He's looping his shots really well. I don't like to see that. In a way, with being effective with his own punches, over and right, going down to the body, it's those loops. Perfect. Does this, does this reflect how the fight's going to be scored, guys? Look at the punches landed. It's a wide slip. Well, that's not, you know, although, you know, in a way, in a way, he's being effective punching. He is a nose. There's another hook that lands. He sunk that in. Oh, right. It's in a way in his tracks. Looks a little more like, and if he's stationary, it's going to be target practice. How beautiful. Flying right over our heads. Tell you what, BK, earlier in the night we saw a monster, Zushan. Oh! Oh! Here comes Inoue, blocking a big left hook that Mungia put too much behind, and that's why he got caught with that overhand. 22 years old. Again, highly regarded. I don't know to put it exactly, but... Yeah, here, Roberto. Chris, thank you very much, Roberto Alcazar. Trained for Jaime Mungia. He once trained Oscar De La Hoya. He tremendous chin and, and head and body, as you see right there. Those are hard. He's eating it, and he's doing okay. So you're not, it, it appears you're not going to knock him out with one right. Not for Inouye. Yeah. Inouye with a lot of pressure oh. there. And that played. Inouye doing oh. what he does off Inouye. And he did it effectively, but Inouye. Oh. Keshi Inouye. Yeah, he could be winning most of these rounds. Maybe most all of them except the last one. Big right hands. And his neck snapped back a little bit. Another right hand. Inouye wincing with those shots, but comes right back with the same overhand right hand. So much heart. Oh, and Munguia twice goes oh. to his money shot. So dispiriting for any fighter to hit him. Like I said earlier, Munguia is fighting off in a way. In a way, keeps coming forward, but right there he absorbs two good shots on the left and on the right. But Ray Leonard at that one sequence of those in a way. Comes Munguia. Right from distance. Oh. In a way, can land for Takeshi in a way. Those are thudding. Just incredible on in a way part. Just keeps coming forward, trying to land him down. He's almost sitting down on the bottom rope. That could be a knockdown. He's got it. Oh, did he go down? Oh, no. In a way, stays He's on going. his feet. He almost oh. got me. Round 11. Center in Houston. Hyman Mungia has his fans, but so does Takeshi. 11, like we are now. Takashi in, in this fight, he has not been able to be the bully. Normally, he, he's had to box, he's had to withstand punishment. No way, all the credit he deserves. What a tough performance. This is round 11. Be here with you. Live on DAZN has been a tremendous battle. Yes, it has. The crowd is loving this. They're on their feet. To this fight here will make the fight. Because 
Jaime Mugia is used to pulverizing his opponents and ready to press into action. Still push. When he's against the rope. <laughs> All right, valid point. Fight to be over, I'm telling you. He's really thinking the pressure. It doesn't look like it. Right. I'll tell you what, that counter right was dangerous, Serge. He's been throwing it all fight. Just, I tell you. Look at this. Standing it's off and determined, and you're going to see a picture of Takashi Inoue, I tell you. Determination. To keep this man off him. And Takeshi Inoue closed the gap and has earned a tremendous time, amount time. of respect. Hyman, move!